the ratings to scourge you from watching this video because I am still being attacked by bots. So don't forget to drop a like on this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs>
go ahead and just click one of these live CD options, but it's a lot better uh, if you go ahead and install it to a secondary device such as a external hard drive or another flash drive. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in our second flash drive to the PC. All right, and then you're going to go ahead and hit that installation option. All right, scroll down, select the flash drive that you wish, or not flash drive, but any device that you wish to install Android to. It could be an external hard drive or a flash drive. Uh, so this is the drive we want to use right here, formatted as FAT32, so okay. Do not format because we already formatted it. Do you want to install the bootloader? Of course you do, yes. <laughs> do you want to install system directory? Yes. And it's going to go ahead and write everything to that USB flash drive. So I'm going to speed up this footage and we can move on to the next step. So right here, the installer is going to create some save space for you. You want to do that if you want to save changes. So go ahead and click yes. Um, I like to just put it at the max size. So I'm going to go ahead and select 2047. And sorry if my arm got in the way there. I just realized I was blocking the camera. Go ahead and hit enter. And you're just going to let it write the file again. At this point, your Android image should be installed to your secondary device, so you can go ahead and pull the first one out right after you click Run Android. I almost pulled it out too soon. <laughs> yeah, oh god, I'm going to get some stupid jokes about that. Run Android, and you're going to want to pull out that primary USB flash drive. And there we go, we are booting into the Android operating system. And now you have a fully functional live version of Android running off your chosen storage device. And let me just show you that this is actually working. I don't just have an image up here. I'm going to scroll through some of this, open up some applications. Let's go ahead and check out what we have on here. I'm nothing much. I'm not connected to the internet. So a lot of this stuff isn't going to work. I can go to the calculator. That works just fine. Let's try a different application. Let's go back there um, and select. Uh, how about calendar? And it, of course, it is kind of awkward to use with a trackpad. I wish I, I wish I had a mouse with me right now. Oh, couldn't sign in. Oh, yep. Well, there we go. Calendar popped up. And let's just try playing around with some of the features of Android. We're switching between applications here. Nice and smooth. Alright, so that's going to be about it for this video, and this should work for almost every modern version of Android. If you find one that doesn't work, because unfortunately I'm not capable of testing every single one out that's out there, because there's all sorts of different flavors and variations, um, go ahead and post it in the comment section so people know that that version won't work uh, with this process. So thanks for watching guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, and of course, please do not forget to like this video. I will see you in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology, where hopefully we'll be playing around with Android on some older hardware.